Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account. We're gonna be looking at the brand new Celestial and the Hypogen um, and see kind of the difference between them and overall which one I think is going to be the most effective. A lot of questions that I got over on the live stream, which which one should I build? Now overall guys, and I'm gonna break down the reason exactly why you should build out um, Liberta first. Even though I know he might not be the ideal one just based on the looks, a lot of people want the avatar frame um, from Lucila, but overall we are seeing a lot more utility with him and I'm gonna break down exactly why we are seeing that. And I'm hoping that I can pull one more copy of, the, of one of these heroes. Now overall guys, he is really huge when it comes to energy regeneration. When you look at the twins, when you look at Halos, um, when you look at Ivan, when you look at heroes that possess an energy regeneration aspect, they're usually some of the breakout heroes that we see in the S and the S plus tier um, because they are super effective. Now, overall, you can see he grants an energy orb or the blessed orb grants energy, which goes up depending on how many you have out there. Energy gained and reduced upon gaining blessing and punishing orbs is increased to 150. That is a massive energy increase. And also it is an energy decrease for the enemy, which again is kind of interesting to see how exactly he works. When using the blessed or punishing skill, one extra orb is placed on holders. Now remember, not only will they get these energy orbs, but the orbs can also stack, which stacks, of course, the energy that we're seeing with this hero. Now, when you couple that, with the blessed orbs, um, it also heals. So now you have a healing orb and now you have an energy regeneration, which is huge, but the damage that he can do is amplified on the other side with these punishing orbs, because again, the punishing orbs can stack. When you look at the level three right here, 240% of his attack rating stacking up to three times, lasting up to five seconds is massive. Guys, it, it is massive when he is stacking orbs, um, especially when you have multiple targets. This can make a really big difference. And the damage dealt to the enemy hero by removing the punishing orb is permanently increased by 16% for maximum increase of 80. So not only are the punishing orbs doing damage, the punishing orbs stack, but now you're increasing the maximum damage that you can deal permanently to the enemies, which again, it is kind of crazy to think so he has his own amplification with the punishing orbs and he has the healing and he has the energy regeneration. Now he also does have the ability to remove them all from the battlefield, which couples with the in with the furniture bonuses that we'll look at in just a minute. This removes all of the orbs. So you're missing out on the energy orbs and the healing. And then of course you're missing out on everything else. Orbs that are most suitable target, it returns them in equal numbers. Skill prioritizes removing the blessed orbs and punishing orbs placed the earliest and up to three of each can be removed, which we know they can stack to three. Now this is the interesting part, guys. For each blessing orb that is removed, the holder, the holder and Liberta will recover 100 energy. That means massive energy if any of these blessed orbs are on any of your heroes. This is gonna be huge, guys. It's gonna be, again, a massive energy increase. Um, not only for Liberta, which again is gonna ult much, much faster because of the energy regeneration, for each punishing orb that is removed, deals an extra damage equal to 300% of the attack rating to the holder. Again, this can stack up to three times, um, which is huge. She will also gain, or he will also gain five haste points with a maximum of 50 points. Cooldown time of the punishing will be reduced by two seconds. So he can literally shoot these abilities and shoot these orbs back and forth. You're buffing his haste, you're buffing the energy that he's getting and the damage that he's doing on targets. Now, when you take him to a 60, it is really kind of crazy um, because this becomes a passive ability. When each blessing orb is removed, one punishing orb will be created. Again, for each punishing orb that is on there, it is stacking damage and you're stacking the orbs on there. Um, removed one blessing orb will be created. So you're increasing the energy regeneration because of that blessing orb. Created orbs will automatically seek the most suitable targets. So this again, when you get this kind of on a super cycle with the hero, this is the reason why the hero is doing an incredible, incredible amount of damage. We've seen it in the curse realm, the, the nightmare corridor, also in the twisted realm, also in the PVP aspect. This has been working incredibly, incredibly well. Then you couple in the three of nine furniture. 
After using an ultimate, which of course, after the massive regeneration that the hero is doing, cooldown time of the restoring orb will be reset. And if there are any blessed orbs or punishing orbs on the battlefield, this is gonna trigger restore order again. Based on this, the cooldown will be reset if there are any blessed orbs or punishing orbs on the battlefield when the ultimate ability is cast, which again, it links allied heroes. This does quite a bit of damage for the multiplication factor between heroes up to a maximum of 600% of the attack rating, which is kind of crazy. When they're linked, the multiplier um, damage is increased to 100% multiplier for converting um, damage into healing is increased by 100%. Now, coupled with Lucila, which we're gonna look at in just a second, both multipliers go to 150. Now, this is the reason why the hero is broken when you're looking at the PvP aspect, even looking at a couple formations where we're running them together, because then you get into Lucila, and I'll show you why, and again, exactly building Liberta first really does make a big difference. Because right here, guys, she creates this domain now, the big thing to note with the ultimate ability is right here, while fighting alongside Liberta, on the Crimson Sith will always seal attributes for the maximum possible value, which means running her independently doesn't work as well as running her with Liberta, which means you have to have Liberta and you have to have him built for her to really excel in formations. That is the reason as of right now, we are not seeing this hero run by herself. Which means, again, if you're getting her first, she is not being run with another hero because of the combination of them running together. So almost looking at formations, she is somewhat dependent on the other hero because if she's run independently, you could have a 5% normal attack. You could have a 10% full moon, a 5% chase, um, which again is going to be much lower. You're not going to optimize this hero unless the hero is with Liberta um, to, to run in conjunction. Now going through these, you can see Moon Chase, again, selects a random hero to chase. She doesn't do a ton of damage. That is the other thing, guys, with this hero, even with the maxes, um, doesn't do an incredible amount of damage, but this one does work well because of the crowd control aspect. This one, again, looking at the damage survivability, of course, of this four skill with the engraving, but even looking increased damage to 300 of the attack rating, and increase the damage dealt to chase targets by 400. We're not seeing her do the damage. We are not seeing her do the damage in formations, which is unfortunate. And then of course, guys, really just buffing up, increasing the damage right here. And then of course, increasing the attack rating with everything that is sealed with the, the Crimson Sith. And then of course, the resurrection. The resurrection is very important because remember, this hero goes straight into enemy formations which means she is gonna die pretty quick when you start getting in level deficiencies. Resurrections are increased by three um, when you are running them again together. Now the signature item on here, this is pretty big, but again, without having the counterpart of the Celestial, it doesn't work as well in formations. When the domain is active, all heroes deal 5% more damage. Further boosted if the allies attack rating exceeds the enemy by a maximum of 10%. Then it goes to 30, as you can see right there. Magic Pierce, Physical Pierce is going up. Within the domain, Lucia's silhouette will appear and use normal attacks to deal damage. Now, adding in the silhouette, again, does make a little bit of a difference, but overall, we're not seeing, again, the huge amount of damage that she's putting out. Enemies within the domain take 20% extra damage, which again, damage boost on there. The damage is not coming for her, from her. If there are more surviving allied than enemy heroes, the enemies within the domain take an extra damage for a maximum of 40%. And then when she takes damage, Silhouette appears, uses full moon against the attacker, which again, we're not seeing her in the damage formation without Liberta. Liberta is doing all of the damage within the formations when they're fighting beside each other. Now hopping over and looking at this in actuality or in the use cases, such as the Nightmare Corridor within the leaderboard, a lot of them, again, are running kind of together. You can see right here, they are running together. Liberta is doing 8 billion damage in the formation. She is doing 329 million. That is kind of the, the discrepancy that we're seeing in here between um, these two heroes. Even looking in here, guys, Spider comes out. They're both kind of in the formation. And the speed that she attacks right here, even there is the link. 
but look how fast that is down here, guys. You will see this energy bar because of course we are stacking orbs in there. You can see the damage orb stacking one, two, three um, right here on the, the bottom to kill out the boss again, doing 8 billion damage. If this boss would have survived, I mean, we were what, 23, 24 seconds in. That means they would have put out what, 17, let's say times four, you, you'd probably see about 28, almost 30 billion damage for the hero because of the formation and because of the build. We are seeing the exact same thing in the curse realm, but in these formations, we're not seeing, sometimes they're running together, um, sometimes independently, but even looking in conjunction with an awakened hero doing 5 billion, um, he is at 4.89, almost 5 billion from a non-awakened hero is pretty good, guys. That's right on part to what we see kind of running REM in formations, still again, working incredibly well with formations. But again, that is a lot of damage for a celestial hero, a celestial support hero, even with that being said, guys. And you'll see just how fast we're stacking up the buffs within here. And you can see, guys, that the orbs go up here, the mitigation goes up on here. And right there, the orbs are going back and forth between the targets based on the builds that they have. And it just blocks the damage like crazy with Liberta, which is the reason, again, building him first makes a big difference. Without him, Lucila doesn't seem like the effectiveness is going to be there. Even without him, Lucila will lose um, energy at such a fast rate that you're not going to be able to keep up with the energy that... She is burning through when the domain is up, amplifying the damage in there, which again, working kind of in conjunction, he is the one to build first, followed by her. Because right there, guys, the domain goes up. You can see the energy keeps spiking back and forth. That's because Liberta is giving the energy orbs that are bouncing back and forth between the target based on the abilities to make it work. All right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. I hope I really answered the question. And again, this is one that I'm getting a ton. You can see all of these energy orbs up on all of these different heroes, guys, which is incredible to see. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.